Well friends, it is that time of the year once again. A new MLB ring, the Rangers ring, has been revealed. So that means obviously we have to update our Ranking the World Series Rings video. You guys absolutely loved the last video, so it would be absolutely criminal of me to not make this update. And I also realized that the last MLB Rings video did not include the 2022 Astros Ring, so we have two new rings on this video compared to the previous. Just like I mentioned last video, the early history of MLB Rings is super repetitive. They're all pretty much the same. So to not only speed up this video, but to also make it much more entertaining for you guys, I made the cutoff the 1973 Oakland Athletics ring, not only because rings get so much more creative from this point on, but also it leaves us with a nice even 50 rings to rank. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, it helps out the channel a lot, and make sure to check out my channel in general for sports content. I upload two times a week and I cover all different sports, so if you like sports, you will like my channel. But with all that out of the way, I hope you guys do enjoy the updated ranking of all of the World Series rings. Kicking off the list at number 50, we have the 1981 Dodgers ring. Now, if you're wondering what all the unranked rings look like, this is pretty much the same design, just with different iterations each. You guys aren't really missing much. Continuing this trend is the 1975 Reds ring. Once again, the simple diamond in the center, but at least this one includes some color. At 48, we have the 1982 Cardinals ring. Pretty much just a more polished version of the previous ring, but you can see why it chose not to include all of those rings before 1973. At 47, we have the oldest ring on this list, the 1973 Athletics ring. I like the green here, but I also like the more circular design of this ring, and it feels a little more vintage. Now, just like in the last video, I chose to group up these very similar blue rings, so I'm going to run through these next six pretty quickly. Starting at 46, we have the 1978 Yankees ring, then we have the 1984 Tigers ring, the 1986 Mets ring, the 1985 Royals ring, the 1988 Dodgers ring, and then the 1995 Braves ring. All of them with very similar designs, yet I think the Braves one is the greatest due to that diamond ring on the outside representing the stands. And then you have that intricately designed baseball diamond centerpiece. At 40, we have the 1991 Twins ring. Aren't you guys glad that I didn't rank all those rings before 1973? At 39, we have the 1989 Athletics ring. Finally, we have reached the last ring of this simple design, yet I do think this clearly is the best due to the detailed diamond in the center, the rings going around the circle, and that beautiful green color. At 38, we have the 1983 Orioles ring. You have the Orioles cursive logo on the front. Not really any coloring. The background is filled with diamonds, but at least it's better than that repetitive design previously. At 37, we have the 1979 Pirates ring. Very simple here as you just have that Pirates P in the center, black background, and diamonds fill up the P. But at 36 we have the ring from the following year, this is the Phillies 1980 ring. Another P logo is on display here except I like the font better on the Phillies P as well as the red colorful background. At 35 we have the 2001 Diamondbacks ring. Love the logo that is front and center, it's designed really nicely with the diamonds in the center, except they really sold away any potential this ring had with that weird shaped diamond grid background. It really just doesn't look like it fits on the ring. At 34 we have the 1990 Reds ring. Just the Reds logo in the center filled with diamonds and that red ruby background. At 33 we have another Reds ring and this one is much older, their 1976 ring. This ring has aged like a fine wine. It looks simply beautiful. The design in the center is super intricate and I love how they feature the commissioner's trophy front and center with the diamond in the middle and the baseball in the lower portion. At 32, we have the 1987 Twins ring. It really just featured their simple design that they had back in 1987 with that M and the streak underneath, but the blue backs up the logo really nicely. At 31, we have another ring that aged amazingly. This is the 1974 Athletics ring. I love the more vintage detail that we see on the border and the outside of the ring. It has that beautiful green in the center, the Athletics logo in the front. You have two smaller engraved baseballs on each side, and I love the clovers on the side of the ring. At number 30, we have the 2005 White Sox ring. Obviously, no color in this ring because their logo features no color, but with that being said, you have that black background and then the Sox logo over the front. It is a bit weirdly shaped how it's super oblong, but the outlining diamonds which follow that oblong shape really help to make this look a bit better. At 29, we have the 1997 Marlins ring. Could have used some color in the center, it does look like it's an unfinished ring, but I will say the actual Marlin design behind the F looks pretty detailed for the age, and then the rest of the encompassing diamonds are nice. At 28, we have the 1992 Blue Jays ring. It's a bit criminal that the Blue Jays ring does not feature any blue, but I will say it does have a nice pop of red for that maple leaf right next to the Blue Jay. The Blue Jay itself is pretty nicely designed as well, with the diamond being used as the eye in the center. 
Now next up we have five Yankees rings in a row. They won a lot, but a lot of the rings look extremely similar, so I'll start rattling them off. And we start with the number 27 1977 Yankees ring. Now like I mentioned in the last video, even though I'm a huge Red Sox fan, I can't deny that the NY Yankees logo looks absolutely beautiful, simple, and iconic. And that's what most of these rings feature. They have their logo in the front with that dark blue background. At 26, we have the 1996 Yankees ring. 20 years newer, so the design is overall sharper, and I will say the logo looks better, more spread out and larger here, and it much more closely resembles their actual logo. We are now entering the halfway mark on our list. We're at number 25, and placing here is the 1999 Yankees ring. This ring is absolutely blinged out with diamonds as the actual Yankees logo is filled with them, the background, and the border of the ring. I will say you have that nice navy blue outline behind the logo which really breaks it up from the background. At 24 we have the next year's ring, the 2000 Yankees ring. Once again the beautiful Yankees logo in the center but I like how they broke apart the background with the diamonds and then a navy blue shaped baseball diamond behind the logo. And at 23 we have the best Yankees ring out of this grouping of Yankees rings. This is their 1998 ring. It combines pretty much most of the best elements, the beautiful big and spaced out Yankees logo. It has diamonds around the border which represent the arena and then you have that beautiful navy blue in the background. Also I do enjoy the overall circular shape of this ring. At 22 we have the 2008 Phillies ring. Very simple, Phillies logo in the center, white diamond background, but you have that Phillies red that helps break apart the logo from the background and it looks really nice. At 21 we have the 2002 Angels ring. The logo in the center is beautifully depicted with rubies filling it up and the gold outline as well as that diamond halo around the top of the A. The rest of the ring is pretty standard as far as diamonds and outline go, but it really comes from the logo. At 20, we have the 2007 Red Sox ring. You have the Red Sox logo in the center, the baseball diamond right behind it, and then the Red Sox blue behind the diamond. You have this very interesting font around the ring, which I kind of dig. It gives it a bit more character. If I did have a main gripe, though, I wish the colors were a bit more bright. On every single picture I find, they just look very dull. Now at these next three spots, we have the Trilogy of San Francisco Giant Rings. At 19, we have the middle ring. This is their 2012 ring. No color to be found anywhere on this ring, but what it lacks in color, it does make up in very detailed, clean design. If only they featured some of that Giants orange somewhere on this ring, it probably would be much higher. At 18, we have the 2014 Giants ring. Picture the last ring except some gold incorporated. I absolutely love the gold outline of the beautiful San Francisco Giants logo in the center. Two years newer, so I guess it is a bit more detailed. And I do like the eight diamonds, the three from the top, the five on the bottom, which represent their eight World Series wins. Once again, though, where is the orange? At 17, we have the best of the three. This is the 2010 Giants ring. The first ring is the best, as I just love the creative design of that circular gold ring that says World Champions around the center. The center looks great as well, once again featuring that San Francisco logo, and then the diamonds backing it have an interesting design as well. It also helps that the side of the ring looks great with that gold Golden Gate Bridge. At 16, we have the 2003 Marlins ring. Once again, we have a lack of Marlins colors here, but I will say they do a nice job at including a lot of gold here. You have the Marlins text in the center with the S swooping across the middle, which looks great. And the intricately detailed Marlin filled with diamonds behind that word. The Marlin looks amazing, and then to top it all off, I absolutely love the detail of the ruby baseball stitching, which is a super clever touch. At 15, we have the St. Louis Cardinals ring from 2011. Now, if you watched my logo ranking video, you know that I love the Cardinals logo as is, but let me just say they crafted it beautifully on this ring as well. Filled with rubies, it's that stacked design, and then to top it all off, the gold outline of the Cardinal and the baseball bat that it's perched on. One of the better logos out of any ring that we see. However, the rest of the ring kind of lets it down with its blandness. If there's some more intricate design or coloring on other parts of the ring, this honestly would be a top five ring for me. At 14, we have the 1993 Blue Jays ring. This Jays team won back-to-back -back World Series, as you can see by the two red maple leaves and the double Blue Jays. What a difference a year makes because this rendition of the ring is so much better than the 1992 ring. A more precise detail, they finally included some blue in the Blue Jay. You still have that beautiful diamond in the center. But what's really clever about this ring is that the new Blue Jays logo in the center is actually overlapping the old logo from the previous ring. Super neat, and it just goes to show how they're kind of parting ways from that previous year's ring design. At 13, we have the 2006 Cardinals ring. 
It features that baseball diamond design with a diamond in each corner and then the St. Louis letter logo in the center. I love how the red pops off against that silver and gold background. At 12, we have the 2009 Yankees ring. A very similar design to the past Cardinals ring, except I just like the overall navy blue better. I feel like the design is more detailed. And I love how the New York logo is intertwined with that baseball diamond. At 11, we have the 2004 Red Sox ring. Considering this was made 20 years ago, it is aged nicely and packs in a lot of the details, such as that gridded baseball diamond, the Red Sox B, and then that blue background behind. The rest of the ring is formatted nicely as well, and we see that unique font once again, which gives it that character. We are now entering the top 10 World Series rings, and kicking us off is another Red Sox ring, and this is their most recent 2018 ring. The design isn't crazy intricate or anything, but just the B in the center is simple yet effective. The blue sapphires around it and on the border. This ring seems to have the most vibrant colors out of any World Series ring. The red and blue simply just pop out to you from the screen, and there's no sign of dullness whatsoever. The design, great, but the colors is what really shines with this ring. At number 9, we have the 2015 Royals ring. Now, I actually really appreciate this ring as it's another ring that the color just pops. The blue in the center looks amazing. I love the KC. And I love the additional details. The siding of the ring looks nice as well with that gold and blue color scheme. But what I enjoy the most about this ring is that crown design you see going all the way around the ring. You see each of the crown's points, diamonds at the top of each of them, and it's a simple, clever design that really elevates this ring. At 8, we have the 2016 Chicago Cubs ring. I love the colorful rings displayed, as you can see by those blue sapphires, and then the C and Cubs made up of that ruby coloring. The logo is done really nicely, it feels perfectly centered, and then you got the UBS for the rest of the Cubs inside of the C. The rest of the ring is just pearly white diamonds, and it looks amazing, and once again, the colors pop off so well here. At 7, we have the 2019 Washington Nationals ring. Surprisingly similar to that past Cubs ring, as it features, once again, that sapphire blue ring. Except I just enjoy the Nationals logo a bit better in the center. That cursive W looks amazing with that gold outline as well. And I absolutely love the words world champions in that silver coloring. At number six, we have the 2020 LA Dodgers ring. The blue sapphire coloring is just beautiful and it goes so well against that pearly white background. The color scheme is amazing yet simple and there really isn't anything wrong with this ring. Entering our top five, we have the 2013 Red Sox ring. I love the designs that feature the Commissioner's Trophy on the ring. I just think it's a really nice piece to have on it. Then you have the Red Sox logo right in front of the Commissioner's Trophy. You have this kind of blue sapphire brick wall in the background, which is a really cool design. And once again, the red and blue color scheme is elite. And as the cherry on top, I find it really cool how the Red Sox made their own championship ring for the World Series MVP, David Ortiz, which looks pretty good. Obviously, it's going to be nowhere near the detail and the design of a major championship ring, but I feel like it's a really cool notion. At number four, we have the Houston Astros 2022 ring. Now, very similar to their 2017 ring, it follows that same design with that orange sapphire star in the center, the beautiful H, and then you have that white background diamond and then the sapphire border around that. It's the second newest ring, so it's super intricate. A lot of hidden details and Easter eggs in here that I'd love to cover, but there's so many I wouldn't waste my time on that. But clearly one of the better looking rings in the MLB. But earning the bronze at number three, I still have the Houston Astros 2017 ring. While yes, five years older, it probably doesn't have the same amount of detail and Easter eggs included. I personally still prefer the more concise circular shape and the overall design of the face of the ring. I think the orange pops out more than the new version. The blue sapphires being a circular background rather than an outside ring look much better in my opinion. And I don't know, just something visually makes me put this 2017 ring over the 2022 ring. Now just missing out from the number one spot, coming in at number two, we have the newest ring, the Texas Rangers 2023 ring. First of all, let's talk about the main face of the ring. You got that Texas Rangers T with that ruby outline, which looks amazing, and then the sapphires backing it up. But the main feature of this ring is that it actually has a reversible ring face. You flip the centerpiece over and it turns into once again Texas Rangers T, but this time the T is filled with rubies, it has a white outline, and then a baseball backing. A beautiful touch that you can switch the main face of this ring. 
And then the cherry on top, in the interior you have baseball leather used from one of the actual World Series wins. An amazing new ring that definitely was a success, but in my opinion the greatest World Series ring of all time is the 2021 Atlanta Braves ring. I don't know how I gypped this ring from the number one position in my last video, but two years later I have finally concluded that this clearly is the best MLB ring. The surface of the ring has this beautiful white gold design, which is also found on the Braves A, and that A is also outlined by their navy blue color. The face of the ring is absolutely amazing, the whole outside is beautiful. But once again, the main draw towards this ring is the fact that you can open it up and on the inside is a beautiful recreation of Truist Park where the Atlanta Braves play. Featured in the stadium, you have 11 rubies, which are each individual home run that the Braves hit in the World Series and where they landed. Not to mention the mini jumbotrons in the stadium actually are functioning lights, so you can better see the stadium once you open up the ring. Absolutely amazing craftsmanship and engineering for this all to come together, but with all these aspects, that is why I truly believe that the Atlanta Braves have the best ring in World Series history. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment your list below. There were a lot of rings that we ranked today, so I'm sure you guys will have much different opinions from mine. Comment anything I missed, anything you guys would like to add. Make sure to check out my channel if you enjoy sports, because like I said, I upload twice a week, so you will love my channel if you're into sports. But with all of that out of the way, thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the next Heaps video.